Global Orbiter. Approaching satellite dish. This is Global Orbiter, reading you loud and clear. Seven degrees left. No, no. Three degrees right. A little bit left. Now a tiny bit right. That's it. Perfect. Woo! I'll be right in. Game's well underway and scores are tied. But if anyone can break the deadlock, it's Cool Joe. Yep, the King of Spin has been terrorizing Barca with his crosses. And there's the new one. The Corkscrew! crosses into the box. It's the corkscrew! And the crowd goes wild! <sighs> Sorry! Ellen, this is a space station, not a football pitch. It's bad enough that you're using state-of-the-art monitoring equipment to watch a Super Strikers game. Oh, come on! I can practically see the broadcast satellite out the window. It'd be a waste not to use it. Asteroid 237 is within range. Let's get to work. Hey, did you guys see this meme? Ages ago, yep. Klaus. Long time ago. What about this fail vid? Check this out. Oh. 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 I saw that one ages ago. Well. I bet you guys haven't seen this. Uh, hmm. A blurry potato. No, El Matador. It's a massive asteroid called 237, and it's coming right past Earth next week. Well, you guys are gonna be too busy looking down at your phones to look up at the asteroid. Seriously, Cool Joe? Why are you so anti-technology? <laughs> Dude takes old school to the next level. Yeah, old university. And what's wrong with that? Besides, I have a phone. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's not that old. Came with a fax machine attachment and everything. <laughs> Hello? Hello. This is the 21st century. You should join us here sometime. <laughs> hmm. Message from Coach. What's it say? The Orion game's been pushed back two days. Aw, oh, man. That's the same time the asteroid's coming past. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> <laughs> cool Joe's new phone. Charger sold separately. Classic! <laughs> <laughs> Posting that on Nata immediately. All right, all right. Which one of you guys did this? Shakes, you're being suspiciously quiet. Oh, he's just angry that he's not going to see the giant space potato up close. I really don't get why Coach Black moved the game. He's more into astronomy than anyone. Ah, Super Strikers. Welcome to the Soccer Sphere. Hello, hey, Coach Black. Black. So, Coach Black, why did you move the game to the exact time Asteroid 237 passes? Oh, so great to have another astronomy aficionado in the Super League. Imagine, Shakes, as the astral giant passes overhead, two Super League giants clash on the pitch. A fitting tribute, no? Yeah, I suppose. And what's in there? <laughs> uh, that facility will help us um, understand more about the asteroid. Cool. Can I check it out? I'm sorry, Shakes. 
Even the slightest interference could affect the readings. No one is allowed in Dome 237. Shakes! Practice! Hey, over here! Coming at you, dudes! Barba, barba. Great stuff, guys! Forward, to me! Coach Black has his side tactically astute and defensively organized. Breaking them down is going to be tough. But we've got something that no amount of planning can stop. El Matador's brilliant shooting? Oh, of course, my mistake. It's my dribbling. Oh, he's talking about the corkscrew, big head. Pa! Cool Joe's crossing can't win games. You need a brilliant striker to score the goals. Ha! Want to bet? Let's give this a spin. You see, El Matador? With the corkscrew, even a dummy can score. <laughs> or one of those guys. Hey! Dude, that was amazing! How do you know exactly where the ball's going to spin? Practice, practice, uh... And what's that other thing? Oh, yeah. Practice. Till 237 gets here. And let me guess, the Natter satellite's right outside our window? It would be a waste not to use it. There's still a lot of prep to be done. We've got to be ready to analyze the composition, velocity, age, and trajectory of 237, as well as the electromagnetic and gravitational effects it will have as it passes. Because we're less affected by Earth's gravity up here, an object as large as 237 should have some unusual effects on us. All right, guys. Good practice. Ha, <laughs> yeah. You've earned it. Now, here's a story about a guy I know whose skill is out of sight. His funky grooves and his deadly moves give defenders all the pride. So, brothers of the huh? Super League, it's more about a shock. When you go... Sphere. Orion hosts Super Strikers. Oh, anyone got reception? Uh, nope. Not me. Uh -uh. The asteroid might be causing electromagnetic interference. Said so on the Global Orbiter Natter feed. Well, well, well. I have reception. Yeah, that's because your phone is coal powered. <laughs> <laughs> Forget your phone reception. Just make sure your attack is at full strength. Totally, yeah, guys. Let's Come on, this. let's do this. And we're off. Neat possession from Super Strikers. Dancing Rasta sends the ball to the left wing, and you know what that means. Aye, the king of spin is about to lay down a royal decree. <laughs> Warning signs for Orion. Aye, but Coach Black doesn't look very worried.
Once again, Dancing Rasta finds Cool Joe. Orion Defender's job for them. So unlike him to miss the target. Another terrible cross. And that one's even worse. What is wrong with Cool Joe's crossing? Do you think the gravitational pull of the asteroid could affect objects on Earth? Hmm, perhaps, but only on a very small scale. Like a spinning soccer ball. I need to warn Super Strike us. Uh, for research purposes, of course. It might be a little difficult to get hold of him with 237 interrupting the phone signal. Analog frequencies should be immune to the effects. But I don't think anyone still uses phones that old. Come on! You can do this! Cool Joe sends the ball straight to the opposition! And now Ryan can counter my ball! Oh. Super Strike is in real trouble here! Oh! North Shaw misjudges the cross! And Big Bull goes the wrong way! Yeah. One nil to Orion. And it all started with Cool Joe giving the ball away. Yep. In the space of one game, the King of Spin has completely lost his touch. This is rash, irresponsible, and downright dangerous. Come on, there's an old communication satellite right outside. And, and it would be a waste, waste not, not to, to use, use it. it. Do you have any idea how many asteroid fragments are flying around out there? If one of them hits you... I have to warn Super Strikers. don't know what happened out there, Coach. I placed all those crosses perfectly. It didn't look like it. Can you please turn that off? I, I don't know how. Yeah, they hadn't invented the reject call button when that phone was made. Wait, really? Yes, it doesn't have one. <sighs> Fine, answer it. Uh, listen, I can't really talk with... All right. Which one of you is behind this? They say they're calling from a space station. Was it me? me? That's pretty good. If it was me, I'd totally claim it. Who is this? Cool Joe? This is Ellen Thrace from the Global Orbiter. I hate to be pushy, but you need to listen. Now. This connection's dangerously unstable. Asteroid 237 is interfering with... Hello? Ah! Uh, Ellen to Global Orbiter. I'm coming in. Like, right now. Do you guys have any idea what that was about? She said the asteroid is interfering with something. Our phones? I'm pretty sure she didn't call us from space to tell us we can't use Natter. Well, what else isn't working? Hate to say it, but Cool Joe's Crossing? Would explain why the ball's spinning all over the place, but can an asteroid do that? Bet we could find out in Coach Black's research facility. Ugh, but it's off limits to everyone. Uh, no it ain't. I saw the whole Orion team come out of that place last night.
So, what's this got to do with the asteroid? Let's find out. Now it's working? <laughs> I don't get it. Hmm. When in doubt, push the big button. Gravitational reverse commencing. Black created a way to reverse the spin of the ball? Not created, emulated. Asteroid 237 is messing with your crossing. And Coach Black trained his guys in here so they'd be ready. You think you can adjust? I don't know, brother. I've been practicing the corkscrew so much, it's instinct. I can't just switch it on and off. Hmm, maybe I don't have to. Second half is underway. Can Super Strikers find a way back into this game? Keep it on the ground, guys. Short passes. So you think Cool Joe got the message? I really hope so. Then where is... Oh, look! Cool Joe switched sides with Twisting Tiger. Well, he can't do much worse than he did in his normal position. You sure this is gonna work? Not at all. okay with us watching soccer on the state-of-the-art monitoring equipment? No, this is research into the effects of the asteroid on a soccer game. Uh, hello? Is this thing working? Reading you loud and clear. Wow, I can't believe I'm talking to a super striker. <laughs> I can't believe I'm talking to an astronaut. <laughs> Who knew it would be so easy to get Cool Joe into technology? Yeah, all he needed was the right motivation. Do you guys mind? Huh? Yeah, seriously. Can we get some space, please? <laughs> How much more space do you need? It. El Matador, dude! We're here for three days. What do you even have in all those bags? Kit bag, casual wear bag, smart wear bag, toiletry bag, hair dryer bag, fan mail bag, and spare bag bag. Wait, wait, wait. You have a bag to keep a spare bag in? Uh, you don't? <laughs> Welcome, welcome, Super Strikers. I trust you'll enjoy your stay in our wonderful city. 
Thanks. I'm sure we will, Ma. Yep. Especially when we kick Cosmos's butt. <laughs> <laughs> you, you said got it, that Ma. that right. <clears throat> and Shakes, where is the rest of your luggage? This is it. <gasps> you don't even have a spare bag bag? Are we in some kind of alternate reality? No, Tiger Man. We're in Las Vegas. Amazing! How can Brock sleep through this? That dude can sleep anywhere. Well, he better wake up soon or he's going to miss the greatest city in the world! Buddy Watkins has a giant sign of himself. Talk about over the top. Yeah, you guys just don't get this town. Vegas is all about the showmanship. And luxury and five-star cuisine. Apparently, they have the world's most expensive dessert here. The 24 Carat Golden Sunday. Woohoo! Yeah! Amazing! Vegas! Las yeah. Vegas does not have a good effect on him. Bring it on! Good stuff, Klaus. Great composure, Shakes. El Matador, keep it simple. Come on, coach. This is Vegas. We need to put on a show. Just ask them. Man, the Cosmos are pulling out all the stops for the halftime show. Well, if they interrupt our next practice, there will be fireworks. I'm calling it for today. We can't train with all these distractions. Especially you, El Matador. Huh? Where is he? El Matador, your away form is amazing. Three goals in four games? What's your secret? Well, it's all about doing the right preparation, Lena. I stay in the best accommodation, eat the best food, and train in the best facilities. Then, I score the best goals. That's it. We're getting away from this madness. Will you stop that? How can Coach be so cruel? Denying El Matador life's little luxuries. What you thinking, Mr. Watkins? Well, Ninja, I'm going to give El Matador exactly what he wants. This has got to be some kind of sick joke. Ah, and this room is the punchline. Oh, not even Block could sleep on this pitiful excuse for a mattress. Chill out, dude. It's just two nights. Yeah, yeah. Hello, reception? Uh, can I please get a 6 a.m. wake-up call? Why don't you set your alarm? <sighs> can I at least get some room service? What do you want? A 24-karat golden sundae with extra golden sprinkles. Golden sundae? I think not. Ah, seriously, what's in this thing?
El Matador. Pull yourself together. How can I, coach? We're in Vegas, and you're subjecting us to bad food, bad training facilities, and the worst accommodations in the world. The only bad thing around here is your attitude. Keep it up, and you'll be doing your sulking on the bench. I don't ask these things for myself, coach. I need the best to play my best. I'm doing it for my team. Oh, yeah. You want to eat the world's most expensive dessert for our sake? What a hero. Hey, El Ponytail. El Matador! Yeah, whatever. You got a package. Dear El Matador, this message is for your eyes only. Do you mind? <sighs> I see now that you really do need the best to play your best. So here it is. <sighs> he understands! P.S. Don't tell the others. I don't want them to think I'm playing favorites. No problem, coach. Shakes, where's your roommate? Uh, not actually sure, Coach. Haven't seen him since practice. Hmm. Hello. You've reached El Matador, professional footballer and all-around legend. Ah. Huh. Try checking the nearest luxury hotel. Wherever he is, he can stay there. Come on, Coach. El Matador may be a little self-involved. Okay, extremely self-involved, but... There's no way he'd put anything ahead of a game. <sighs> Fine. Go find him. And make it quick. Kickoff is at 3.30. Hey, man. What's the fanciest hotel in Vegas? You're standing in it. Fanciest place in town has got to be... Hello? Hello, Mr. Matador. Buckingham Palace Hotel front desk here. This is your 9 a.m. wake-up call. Is there anything else we can do for you, sir? Hmm. I've got the best accommodation and the best training facilities, so all I need is one 24-karat golden sundae with extra golden sprinkles, please. Excellent choice, sir. It will be with you shortly. <laughs> I'm such a big shot in this town, I can even decide what time it is. Oh, thanks, thanks. <laughs> what? Shakes? Make sure he doesn't find out El Matador's here. Hi. I'm looking for a friend who might be staying here. Uh, his name I'm is... I'm sorry, sir. But here at Buckingham Palace Hotel, our guest's privacy is of the utmost importance to us. Okay. Thanks anyway. Shakes! Shakes! Can I please get your autograph? <laughs> totally. Of course, what's your name? The 24 karat golden sundae. I give you my jersey instead. Throw in your boots and you got a deal. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> the things I do for football. El Matador, sir, your 24 karat golden sundae with extra gold sprinkles. Just leave it there, thanks. I'm on a roll here. Mm, mm, delicious. 
How did you get over here? Shakesman, what happened to you? I think I know where El Matador is. Buckingham Palace Hotel. Told ya. And? You know how security is in those places. But I did send a message up to him. Uh, you shouldn't have bothered. The only way he's getting anywhere near a football pitch is if he's mowing the lawn. It's March night in the city of lights. Mac, we spoke about the singing. Ah, come on, Brenda. We're in Las Vegas, and I'm gonna commentate my way. Well, we may be in a city known for its big shows, but we've got a no-show in the game. Aye. Lenky is on for the missing El Matador. The Super Strikers number 20 hasn't even made the bench. Very strange. We have a clear pattern in this game. Super Strikers attack and Cosmos defend. It's going to take something special for the men in red to break through. Cosmos, El Matador is going to have the perfect game. Huh? Check the time, you're going to miss the game. Shakes. Elevator! I've been set up! Ugh. Ooh, comfy. But I cannot rest now. My team needs me. Escape plan! <laughs> oh, come on! Stupid extra smooth silk sheets! Reception. Uh, can you please send up another golden Sunday? We're almost at the end of the first half, and Super Strikers are getting desperate. Yep, they may have had all the possession, but haven't been able to find their way through. <laughs> Ninja gets the clearance, and he doesn't waste any time. The counterattack is on. Done. Stylish goal by the Cosmos star. <laughs> and he knows it. But it's all gone wrong for Super Strikers. Despite controlling the first half, they've missed that little bit of extra magic up front. Hmm? 
Mr. Matador, your 24 karat golden Sunday. I'll just leave it here then. Very good, sir. This is not how a football superstar leaves the building. Coach, I can explain. The hotel you booked me into, they betrayed me. Locked me in the room. The hotel I booked you into? Are you serious? Look, I know you said in the letter that you didn't want the other guys to know, oh, but... Oh, uh, so now I sent you a letter. Of course! You think I'd make this up? Well, then let's see the proof, brother. It's in one of my other bags. Let me guess. Your imaginary letters bag? Listen, I love the best food, the best hotels, and the best training facilities, but nothing is more important to me than Super Strikers, the best team in the world. All right, guys, bring it in. One, two, three. You're on the bench. You guys gotta believe me. I was set up. Oh, yeah? By who? Please give a warm round of applause for Buddy Watkins Buckingham Palace Dancers. It's Buddy's Hotel? Maybe you were set up, El Matador. Coach? You gotta let me get back at that guy. Please, put me on. You've had the best food, accommodation, and training facilities. So get out there and put on a show of Vegas proportions. What? How'd he get here? The missing El Matador has returned. But he has his work cut out for him. Cosmos are set up even more defensively than in the first half. Looks like Buddy Watkins is holding out for a 1-0 victory. Any ideas? Get the ball to me in the box. I know how to catch them by surprise. still has plenty to do here. And oh my, does he do it? Woohoo! Yeah! El Matador turns on the style for the biggest crowd. <laughs> Thanks. A night in the best hotel in town seems to have really helped El Matador's game. Last night in Vegas, Buddy has kindly offered us five-star accommodation on the house. <laughs> More like on the palace. 24 karat golden Sundays all round. Booyah! Well, you guys deserve it. Even you, El Matador. Again? Really? Yeah, where is that deserter? <laughs> he says he's had enough luxury for a while.
lasers! I'm open! I'm open! Nice one, Han Solo. You know, in a real game, I'm all about the teamwork, El Matador. But here, come on, shakes. You loser, shakes. You loser. Wow, this scar is super realistic. Yeah, he really doesn't like shakes. Nice work, Prof Man. This thing's amazing. <laughs> Thanks, Dancing Rasta. Ending simulation in three, two, one. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Woo! So cool! Wow! Whoa. Amazing! I think it's safe to say we're prepared for any weather conditions. We might as well have played in the rain, coach. This helmet ruined my hair. <laughs> Prof, even by your standards, that was just... Wow! Uh, that's uh, just the tip of the virtual iceberg, Shakes. My simulator can load any player in Super League history. So... Who are the best you have in there? Hmm, uh, let me uh, adjust the parameters. Increase the skill limit and... El Lariete, master of the skies. No surprises there. Imagine how epic that guy's heading was when he still had hair. Edwin, king of samba skills. I've never seen anyone move the ball like Edwin did. Spike Dawson, terror to goalkeepers. He was called Awesome Dawson for a reason. And last but not least, our very own tactical genius, Coach. <laughs> but not a style genius. Look at that hair. Hey, afros were really in back then. What do you mean, back then? Don't even think about it, Shakes. I've carefully planned our preparation, and nothing is going to mess with my schedule. I'll see you all tomorrow for some real-world training. Totally rocked that! Good practice, guys. Oh, yeah. Listen up, boys. Play like that in two days' time, and Invincible United won't stand a chance. But there's one more thing you need to do in preparation for the semi-final. Relax. You have tomorrow off. <laughs> awesome! <laughs> all right! Yeah, man! <laughs> but take it easy. I need you all in tip-top shape. See you, dudes! Auf Wiedersehen! What are you doing, Dingon? It's a stakeout. All stakeouts need snacks, Scarra. Not two days before the semi-final, you idiot. Yeah? So, what are Super Strikers up to? I don't know, Vince. Practicing? Being dorks? What am I looking for? Anything that will give us the advantage in the semi-final. The match may be two days away, but the competition has already begun. <laughs> Ew! What is that? Four cheese and flavor. Ah! <laughs> Real secret to shiny hair? It's horse shampoo. <laughs> Dude, my hair stays exactly like this no matter what I. D uh, you guys smell that? Oh, El Matador, you know you're supposed to change your socks after practice, right? How dare you! I wear socks one time only. Then. I sell them on the internet. Hey, Shakes, you want to jam the new Paddle Power game in yeah. my place? State of the art graphics. Nice. But I'm cool, thanks. <laughs> Sorry, Skara. <laughs> We've got bigger problems than your disgusting cheese burps. Shakes is up to something. How do you know that, Skara? It'd take something really important to keep that nerd away from a new video game. Hey, 
Hey, my chips! about to take you guys on. Just one game. Coach did say take it easy. All right, legends. Let's see if you live up to your name. Uh, hi. Listen up, boys. Power accuracy. Got this. Is survival of the fittest. I will destroy all who stand in my way. Well, I hope your football's better than your conversation. Super Strikers, not your dignity. <laughs> Virtual reality training? Oh, wow. Shakes versus a whole team of legends. <laughs> Lucky I brought some snacks. Give me that. Do you have any idea how bad this stuff is for you? Is survival of the fittest. I will destroy all who stand in my way. <sighs> Man, Prof wasn't kidding about how good you guys are. But I gotta get back to reality. And mean blog. Blog! Huh? Heat stroke is a real danger, El Matador. Uh, coach, I know you don't want anything to happen to us before the game, but isn't this a little overkill? You can never be too careful, Twisting Tiger. Hello? Um, coach, you need to get to my lab right now! Oh, man, who dealt it? Hey, don't look at me. I'm not even wearing socks. It's the stench. Oh, villainy! Someone sabotaged my machine. And shakes. No. Shakes? Uh -huh. Prof, get him out of there. I can't. The suit has damaged the console. Can't we just, you know, yank him out? No. If we simply pull him out of the simulation, his brain with him, uh, let's just say it's not an option. The only way Shakes is getting out of there is if he wins.
this. There has to be another way out of here. There's no way Shakes can beat the legends on his own. Wait, wait! Are you crazy? If you can't win, you'll be stuck in there forever! It's a risk we have to take. Ugh. I'm such an idiot! Yep. That's right. Huh? Yeah, man. Totally. I'm wrong. Gotta try to do everything on your own, hey, Shakes? You guys came for me. But doesn't that mean you're stuck in here, too? No one's getting stuck anywhere. <laughs> hey, what gives? We just have to beat the legends, and we're all home free. Besides, dude, we're a team. We win together. And we lose together. Yeah, and we get trapped in virtual reality for all eternity together. I can normally handle watching from the sideline, but this, there's got to be something I can do. Well, uh, you can uh, pass me that screwdriver, please. Huh? Listen up, boys. Power accuracy. Got this. this. Is survival of the fittest. I will destroy all who stand in my way. Legends? Meet legends in the making. I'm a legend, but those guys are legends. Why does this simulator hate me? <laughs> They've been in there for ages. Shakes must be really stuck. Skara, did you get any information on Super Strikers? <laughs> I did a lot more than that, Vince. The semifinal is gonna be way easier than we thought. Uh, I gotta go. Phew, your attitude normally stinks, Skara, but this time, you've really outdone yourself. Yeah, well, you can smell us on the winner's podium. Now, get out of my car. Skara? I think I ate too many chips. Ah! Nobody messes with my team's preparation. No, no! Let me out! Let me out! Help me! Listen up, boy. How are God, this is survival of the fittest. I will destroy all who stand in my way. Uh, is it just me, or does that get very annoying very quickly? You have no idea. Hmm. You guys may be onto something. These are simulations of players. They may be good, but they can't learn anything new. But we can. Sorry, coach. You taught me better than to fall for the same trick twice.
That one I learned from you. And here's one of my own. <laughs> Keep it low! Myself. Not bad, guys. Not bad. A couple more games and we'll have them. Uh, actually, the simulation has become extremely unstable. If you don't win your next game, you're going to be shift deleted. No recovery from recycle bin. Gone. Finished. Obliterated. I think they get the point. Oh, oh, my what are we gonna do? Player for player, the legends are better than us. Oh, great speech, Captain. Oh, but tell me this. What kit are they wearing? Um, they're all different? That's because they ain't a team. But if we play like one, we can beat them, no matter how good they are individually. We need to finish this now, or it's game over. United are here. But strangely enough, the home side hasn't arrived yet. Very unlike Coach. He normally runs a tight ship. <laughs> this turned out better than I could have hoped. Well, for the most part, anyway. Uh, Skara? Finally, the men in red arrive. And they are looking confident. Here we go. Local rivals and Super League giants go head to head. Who do you think will win this one, Mac? I don't know, Brenda. But whatever the result, this is going to be a legendary encounter. <laughs> 